Almost hard to tell the difference. Here we have the OG DigiTac and here we have the DigiTac 2. Let's take a look at some of the differences. The DigiTac 2 has 16 tracks, individual voices in total, and you're actually able to go into machine and select whether you want any of these tracks to be either MIDI or audio. There's also just a lot more information packed into the DigiTac, so you could go to any given page. Let's say the mixer. On the side here, we have these little dots. One, two, three, four, five sub pages on the mixer. And if I head over to modulation, now we have three LFOs as opposed to two on the OG DigiTech. The filter page is just a lot more flexible and intuitive, just in the way that you're able to change this to either a band pass, a low pass, and a high pass, and everything in between, right? If we want to sculpt a little bit more with the filter, there's a second page, and you could use this low pass as well if you want. You're also able to sample in stereo. There's 20 gigs of sampling space and also a lot more sample slots. As you can see here, there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and each of these letters have 127 slots. So that's eight times the amount as on the OG. There's also twice as many pages per pattern. Possibly one of the best parts of this update is that they didn't change the core workflow of the OG going to the DigiTac 2. The sequencers work pretty much in the exact same way, but this one definitely has, I guess you could call it a facelift. This is a big release, so if you have any related questions, just leave them in the comment section.